Hey everyone, it's Ashley, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to give you my warm review on all of the Sensi bricks that just launched yesterday. So these bricks did launch yesterday. They are available for a limited time. However, you can add them as individual bars to your Sensi club for at least 30 days. So I still want to get up this warm review, even though they've already launched. Um, so if you are a little bit nervous about trying a full bar, you can, or a full brick, you can add just a bar to your Sensi Club. Cause you guys, these are big. They're a lot of wax, like <laughs> comparison to a bar, they're a lot. So it's quite the commitment, but who doesn't love bricks? So I'm going to go quickly through and give you my warm reviews in case you're still on the fence about what to buy and want to hear other people's opinions, um, you know, after they've warmed them. Here are mine. So first I'm gonna start off with Pink Poinsettia. I'm kinda of gonna go from least favorite to most favorite. Sorry, Pink Poinsettia. This one's not bad. However, it's just not the one I gravitate towards the most. So the notes are crisp plum and blackberry celebrate the season with a burst of pomegranate. And the reason that this one's not higher like, sorry, it's in last place, but it's just not holiday for me. Like, this is more of, like, New Year's, Valentine's, kind of like a bubbly holiday. Like, it's kind of got a little bit of, like, a champagne note, but it's definitely fruity. Like, definitely full forward fruity. Corey, this is Corey's favorite, but he is the fruity. <laughs> He's all about the fruit. So, he likes this one when I had him smell it, he was like, it smells like those plants you give people around Christmas. And I was like, did you see the name? Like those don't smell, do they? Like, no, whatever. They do not. <laughs> so, but that's what he said. So, but to me, I just get like fruitiness, a little bit of that bubbliness. This one was a pretty good performer. Um, but just not, I think it'd be better later on like either for like a new year's type of holiday or even like um transitioning winter into spring so if it was that time it'd maybe be a little bit higher on my list but right now i want all the cozy vibes and it's just a little bit too fruity for that so next is fluffy fleece and this is black currant and cozy musk bundle up beneath a blanket of heliotrope and i feel like some people were saying heliotropes maybe a floral if i remember correctly this one is so unique. I still stand behind what I said that it smells like a fresh, clean blanket, but like a little bit like maybe you sat in it the day before with the perfume on and that's kind of lingering on the clean blanket. I still feel that way. There's like a hint of fruitiness that comes out like barely, barely, barely. And I wouldn't even say it's specifically current because sometimes that's kind of bitter but it's like almost undetectable. It just kind of sweetens it up a little bit and maybe that's part of the like heliotrope floralness of it. It's very cozy. However, it was decent in the open concept. It was like a medium. If I, I feel like if it was any stronger, it would potentially give you a headache just because it's bordering that like cotton, clean laundry type of smell but it's it's not laundry but it's on the border of that like fresh type of scent so i enjoyed it it's definitely a cozy scent it may be more appealing in the bedroom so i'll probably try it more there versus like i tried them all in the open concept just because i wanted to see how they would do but definitely a cozy scent not like the like totally in my wheelhouse but i can appreciate it and i think i'll like it a little bit better in the bedroom so in third place, I know, um, kind of shocking to be honest, is Spiced Eggnog. <laughs> this was my favorite of gold today. So this is ground clove simmers in a festive blend of buttered rum and creamy eggnog. I like this. However, I like it the longer it warms. Like kind of at the beginning I was getting, and now that it's like sat a little bit longer, I'm getting a lot of the eggnog in not the best way. I'm getting more of that like um, milkiness consistency it has. And I feel like I got a decent amount of that warming, but it was kind of in the background where it wasn't like super bothering me, but I could tell that it was there. But as the day went on, it kind of got like a sweeter, more bakery, vanilla type of situation. 
So I'm kind of like half and half on this one. It's like I like it at the end of the warming cycle, so it's kind of tough. But I may try to mix it with some other things to see what I can do. Maybe some other ones of these bricks, maybe just some regular other wax. Um, if you have any suggestions, let me know. But I think maybe something a little bit spicier will help cut down on that eggnog and just sweeten up the spiciness of whatever's I'm mixing it with. So I thought I would like this one more, but definitely the eggnog is starting to come out. Let me know what you guys get from this one because I think it's definitely like cured somewhat since I got the brick. Okay, number two, <laughs> this might be shocking, but it's going to be Sweet Orange Pomander. So this is probably my least favorite on Cold Sniff. It says sparkling clove and cinnamon stick adorn sweet orange in a dazzling display. When I smelled this um, initially on cold, I was like, this is only clove and cinnamon. And I recently had just got the bar of clove and cinnamon, but it's like so spicy with a hint of orange on cold. Like it's almost like headache inducing. However, in my open concept where it like had room to like breathe and move around, um, while I was heating up doing some samples in my office, it was a little strong, but in the open concept, it was really, really nice. I was shocked. It just filled the space with like a nice, warm, welcoming scent. I feel like the way Welcome Home would, um, that's kind of what I got from it. I wasn't like I came over and was like, okay, this is like orange cinnamon clove. Like it was just like a nice, warm, welcoming scent, which kind of surprised me, but also kind of makes sense. Because in the same way like clove and cinnamon is just kind of that like craft store warm cozy vibe, I feel like this did the same. So I'm kind of happy I warmed this one and it's perfect for like the fall into winter season in my opinion. I know some people are just getting into fall but here it literally feels like it could snow any minute. It's getting so cold so it's perfect in my opinion. And honestly the one that surprised me the most that ended up being my favorite vanilla cinnamon maple. I really didn't like this one on cold because a lot of that maple came out to me. The notes are cinnamon stick warms a buttery maple atop a mountain of whipped sweet cream. This one on cold I was getting a lot of that like it smells good right when you smell it and then after kind of that maple or something comes out that's almost a little bit like sour or off or something. But when it was warming up it, it completely changed. It literally was like vanilla cinnamon. Maple Who, it was not there. It was really, really good. Like a really nice vanilla bakery cinnamon. It wasn't cinnamon buttercream, but similar in the way of like a little bit deeper, but similar to that scent. I really actually ended up liking it. So it actually took the number one space. Um, I feel like if the maple was coming out and bothering you, you could easily add some vanilla bean buttercream to it and really amp up that vanilla. Same with the sweet orange pomander. You could add like a vanilla bean buttercream or a sugar cookie and really like tone down that spice. But this actually, this isn't like a sweet spice. It's definitely like a clove spice, but it was really nice. This is like a sweet cinnamon. But if that maple was too much for you, for me, I didn't get it at all on warm. Thank goodness. <laughs> but if you did or it was bothering you, you could probably add in some vanilla bean buttercream and kind of fix that. So Yes, if I had to pick two to repurchase, I would pick the vanilla cinnamon maple and the sweet orange pomander. Um, if you're really into fresh scents, I would go with the fluffy fleece. If you're into fruity, I would go with the pink poinsettia. If you like eggnog, I'd go with this one, but honestly, it's I have to rewarm it to get a better feel and see if I get the eggnog again or was it just having kind of like a weird day. So this one I'm on the fence about. Sorry, I'm not giving it a solid recommendation, but I'll retest it. At the current time, I don't know if I'm going to put any of these in my Scentsy Club. Um, that might be a little bit risque, but I have a full break and I'm trying to get better about my Scentsy Club. So maybe vanilla cinnamon maple, but also we'll see I guess. So that is everything that I have for my warm reviews video. Let me know which one was your favorite or if you have not been able to smell them which ones you picked up and are most excited for down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.